one today we're gonna go over how to draw a more angry yelling face but in profile you know uh, so let's kind of go over this especially in profile you talk about the jaw moving the only that is really the only bone moving around in your head you know it really changes the shape of your face so the setups can be a little different I usually do a circle by the way, I'm using a 9b pencil it doesn't really matter yeah, I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes I wouldn't use anything like a 9b I'd use more like a 4b you know this is the pencil channel all about pencil okay pencil guys pencil I have another channel dedicated to pen and another channel dedicated to different topics so but I would say I'm gonna keep this entirely pencil from now on if you have a request make a request and I'll do it um, so the head kind of leans back because you got you have this pivot point in the jaw the pivot points right here Because of this, the skin's going to stretch in the mouth. Let's go over it pretty quick. So the, the rule of thirds doesn't really work so much here because it's totally opening up. You have to kind of eyeball more than you would normally do. Just remember the back of the skull is there. And uh, one second. So let's go over the eye real quick. The eye is going to be like a pizza slice. It's going to look like a pizza slice or a pie chart or something like that. It's going to be that direction. It's not going to be aiming at us. Eyelid. Eyebrow. I mean, yeah, eyebrow. This is going to be angry. It's going to be a little curled, a little forward, but not that much. The nose is going to be up here. It's going to furrow a little bit. The nose is going to look shorter in proportion because of the yelling. It's going to, it's going to expand this space so much because normally I do rule of thirds, you know what I mean? For the brow line, bottom of the nose, and the bottom of the chin, and the hairline. But because of this, it's going to be a little different. It's going to make the nose look way smaller than it actually is. But it's not smaller, obviously. It's just the in proportion is a little different. The nose there. Another thing about the side view, especially with the side view profile, when you're yelling, it's going to curl up the cheeks over here. So this cheek is going to come in the way of the nose, a little of the wing of the nostril, a little more than you would think. And remember, the cheek's going to kind of tie back in over here. To the bottom of the eye and you don't have to do that but just kind of remember that it's going to flow that general direction yelling is going to stretch the skin of the mouth out pull some teeth there just to make make sure he's not toothless toothless joe And show the other side. This is really important. A lot of beginners miss this. You got to show the other side of the mouth. You know what I mean? This is a dimensional picture. You know what I mean? Right here, chin. Go back, draw this back. The jaw. Sometimes you won't see the entire jaw. You know what I mean? I just chose to draw the entire jaw right now. Let's go to the back of the head. I'm going to shrink the back of the head a little bit more just based on how I drew the face. Uh, keep the ear here leveled around, like I said, between the ear and the it's gonna, ear and the uh, bottom of the nose. Keep in that gen if you draw a line back. You're in the bottom of the nose, and remember the ear is a little bit angled. You know, it's not just straight up and down. Remember the shape of the ear. It's a Y. It's in, in the inside. That little part looks like kind of like a Y, and the big thing looks uh, the big part of the cartilage looks like a question mark. You know, if you had to think about it in simple terms. Uh, if you have any difficulty with that, go back to my. Uh, Go back only a few videos, and I go over how to construct the ear and how to construct, you know, what goes inside of it and stuff. So, please check that out. 
I'm trying to consistently update this channel a lot more, you know what I mean? It's been a cool ride, but uh, you know, also I got a lot of time and I'm gonna try to update as much as I can, guys. I'm gonna try I'm gonna shoot for at least five times a week, at least. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to grow this channel too, so if you can please share this. Share this video anywhere you want. I would love that. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. If you learn anything from here, please at least like the video. You know what I mean? All that stuff's cool. I do, I would really like for this channel to, you know, explode a little more than it is. Here's another part. You gotta remember the part from the chin to the bottom, to the neck. It's not just straight up like that, right? It's not. This is a no-no. You don't do that. You're gonna, there's gonna be skin from the bottom of the uh, chin to the neck, get, to get to the neck, you know? So it's gonna have that kind of thing going on. carry this down the fold of the mouth you can't carry it down some people it connect some people don't you know what I mean it really it's up to you you can make it more angry his eyes right now he's just kind of yelling like normally sternocleidomastoid show that a little bit ties up to the back of the neck show it on the bottom here Let's erase any of these excess lines. Uh, for, the, for a line drawing, I don't really care about the uh, kind of pencil that I use that much. You know what I mean? That's just something I do. I, I say that a lot. I don't really care. So I remember things to remember about yelling. You know, when you're yelling, the things that separate it from, uh, let's say, a regular portrait looking that way, looking to the right profile. I would say, uh, one second. I would say biggest thing to separate it would be uh, this pivot point right here, the jaw. It's called a masseter bone, you know what I mean? But actually, the pivot's more like up here, really. It's kind of this hinge that goes, rrr, rrr, which is obvious, right? Because you know that. Um, the, the rule of thirds kind of goes out the window, really. You really can't use it there. You just have to approximate how, you know, the kind of measurements. Just remember, the nose is going to look way smaller than you would think. Because some people try to compensate and make the nose bigger. You know what I mean? Because they just automatically like, oh, that looks wrong. You know, something wrong about it. You know what I mean? Because we don't draw expression as much as we should. A lot of people like the straight up portrait. Um, also, you can put a little bit of uh, shadow here because the cheeks kind of open up. This is skin. Remember the stretching of the skin. Remember the other thing is the other side of the, the, the skin on the other side of the mouth. Very important. That really will make a difference. You know what I mean? Anyways, guys, that's it for this demonstration. Thanks a lot. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel, like it, and uh, share this. I would appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you soon. Laters.